This is Mr. T, and I've been gambling since I was a little kid. Uh, we used to throw dice in the back of my dad's shop when I was a little kid. So I've been gambling most of my life. I've sort of made a career out of it. And here I am, a Dual Brain Games. Uh, I've been hired to do a couple of videos teaching you uh, some bar bets, you know, some little gambling uh, games that you could just play uh, for fun, you know, or for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> um, never mind this cash over here. Let me uh, show you something with these five cards uh, that you could do with your friends, you know. Uh, at a bar or whatever. You notice here you got the two black queens. Well, these black queens are bad. You don't want to pick them. And then you have two red aces and two red kings. You can choose whatever cards you want. But uh, I like this setup over here. And by the way, this is a vintage Playboy uh, deck of cards. It's pretty cool. Look at this. I like that back design. It's, it's vintage. Vintage stuff. Mr. T doesn't joke around. Alright, back to uh, back to the fun here. So you got two black queens. You, you, you grab these cards and you tell your friend, you say, listen, we're going we're gonna to do a little bar bet here. We're going to do a little wager. I got some... Uh, we're going to wager some Barry Manilow concert tickets or something. I don't know. Uh, you shuffle these. You have your friends shuffle them. You don't have to do it. You know, people always suspect you of doing weird things. The suspicious never want to play these type of games, right? So you got to be you got to be on the up and up. You got to be, you know, everything's fair. So you can use you can use their deck of cards, okay? You're not really going to do anything. You're just uh, going to wager something with them. So you tell them, you said, look, we have two black queens, two red kings, and two red aces. Now, here's what I want to wager with you because I'm feeling uh, quite lucky today. You're going to turn over two cards, okay? And all you have to do is avoid one of the black queens. If you turn over a black queen you lose. If you don't turn over a black queen, you win. Now remember, there's four red cards. You got two red kings and two red aces. All right, so the odds are in your favor, okay, that you're going to turn two cards. You're going to choose whichever ones you want. You're going to turn them over, and if you avoid the black queen, in, in either of the black queens, you win. If not, I win. All right? Uh, and again, um, clearly, uh, it's in your favor. You got four uh, red cards and only two black queens. So they accept the bet, uh, you know, for some drinks or whatever, dinner. And, uh, and they go ahead and they try. So maybe they choose this one. Well, they got a, an ace. And, oh, there's a black queen. So they lost. And you go, okay, well, let's play again. Well, you can double or nothing, or you could just play another round. You can do this as a freeze-out, right? A freeze-out means that you're just going to play until, I don't know, if you're playing for M&Ms. <laughs> if you're playing for M&Ms, you can play until one person has all the M&Ms, all right? Uh, that's called a freeze-out. You can do that. So this is what you're going to do every round. You're going to shuffle, and then you're going to deal the cards out. Hey, listen, no hanky-panky, right? This is, uh, it's all above board here. Your friend has the advantage. There's four red cards and only two black queens. All he's got to do is avoid the queen. So turn over two cards. That, uh, uh, they got to turn over two cards. That's it. And just avoid the queen. It's, it's, the advantage is all theirs. So they go ahead and they try. Well, they got a king this time. And, oh, look, they won. Isn't that great? So let's do another round. 
Just hang in there. I'm going to explain this to you in just a second. There's no funny cards or anything. This is a legit vintage, you know, there's no funny business here. Regular cards. All right, you line them down. And this time they choose this one. And let's say they go with this one. Oh, there's a black queen. Let me explain this to you real quick, and I'm not going to get into a, a deep mathematical explanation because, you know, um, you, when you, uh, let me, let me, let me just come right out and say that you have a three to two advantage. <laughs> Believe it or not. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's possible, right? Cause you got four red cards and only two black queens, but you have a three to two advantage on this. If for them to turn over two cards, you have a three to two advantage that they're going to turn a black queen as one of those two cards. And I suggest you just uh, sit there and try this yourself. Play ten times and you'll see that most of those times you're going to turn over a black queen. It's crazy. All right? I'm going to put these down again. Now play along with me, if you will. Which card, which two cards would you turn over? Just think about it for a second. I'm going to turn over the first one here and the second one. Okay. See, I would have won that round. Would you? Which cards would you have turned over? Okay. So, even though there's four red cards and only two black queens, there's a three to two advantage for you, that your friend, after these cards are mixed, turning over two cards, the odds are they're going to turn over a black queen. And that's just how it works. So you go out there and you have a little fun with this. And listen, there's another reason I'm here. I wrote the uh, cons with playing cards. Here, I'll put the cover up now for you to see. Go check it out at dualbraingames.com. I have uh, a couple more of these interesting things. But I'm, I'm going to come back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show, uh, show you some things with dice. Uh, but this is a, a fun little bar bet, you know. Uh, let me give you another tip. You can use this for charity. I have a big heart. Uh, I do a lot of work for charity. And in my uh, book, uh, my PDF, Con Games with Playing Cards, um, I have a thing in there uh, that I, I explain what I did for a charitable organization to raise some money, but you can do it with this, right? So you have this little game where you have the black queens. You create a little a little graphic, a little poster, right? And you can put avoid the, avoid the black queens or something. You can call it whatever you want. And you play this little game, and uh, maybe you have some dollar store prizes. And the person has to, for, for them to play the game, you, you tell them there's an advantage. You always tell them that, you know. You always say, look, there's four red cards, only two black queens. you got to turn over two cards, okay? So even if you turn over a red card first, you still have a better chance of turning another red card than a, than a black one. Uh, but it's not true, mathematically, all right? You have a three to two advantage, okay? The odds are... They're going to turn over two cards. One of those is going to be a black queen, all right? So the game's going to be in your favor if you're doing a charitable thing. So you tell the person to play the game. You explain it to them. There's more red cards, you know. Uh, it's five bucks to play, okay? And if uh, they, they donate the five dollars, you play the game. If they win, they get, you know, a prize from the dollar store. You know, then you might maybe you spend ten bucks or something. You got you got a few prizes there for them. Uh, but this uh, I've done these sort of charitable games and raised you know 130 bucks, 160 bucks, 200 bucks, different things for charitable organizations playing these uh, fun little games. So there you have it. Um, I like to call this the Black Queens. You know, you want to avoid them. They're dangerous. Look at them. 
They're dangerous. And um, I'm Mr. T, and I'll be back soon to show you a couple more bar bets and things like that you can uh, have some fun with. And remember, entertainment purposes only. <laughs>